Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Let us come together in prayer. Glory to you, gracious God, the Father and God of love. You created us. You continually preserve and sustain us. You love us with an everlasting love. You give us the light of the knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. You were rich, but became poor for our sake. You were tempted as we are, yet without sin. You preached the good news of the kingdom and were obedient to death, even death on a cross. And you were raised from death and are alive forever. You sit at God's right hand in glory and will come again to judge us. Glory to you, Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. By you we are born into the family of God and made members of the body of Christ. Your witness confirms us. Your wisdom teaches us. Your power enables us. You will do for us more than we can ask or think. God of grace, through the mediation of your Son, you call us into a new covenant. Help us to draw near with faith and join ourselves in a perpetual covenant with you. We offer these prayers in the name of Jesus and through the power of of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us hear St. Paul's testimony to the Gentiles at Ephesus in Ephesians chapter 3 in the first 12 verses. For this reason I, Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus on behalf of you Gentiles, assuming that you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for you how the mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I have written briefly. When you read this, you can perceive my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to the sons of men in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. This mystery is that the Gentiles are fellow heirs, members of the same body and partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. For this gospel I was made a minister according to the gift of God's grace, which was given me by the working of his power. To me, though I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to bring to light for everyone what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things. So that, through the Church, the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in heavenly places. This was according to the eternal purpose that he has realised in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have boldness and access through confidence through our faith in him. Thanks be to God. Our second reading is the wise men reading. It comes from Matthew 2 verses 1 to 12 and I'm reading from the good news because it is. Jesus was born in the town of Bethlehem in Judea during the time when Herod was king. Soon afterwards, some men who studied the stars came from the east to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the baby born to be the king of the Jews? We saw his star when it came up in the east, and we have come to worship him. 
When King Herod heard about this, he was very upset. And so was everyone else in Jerusalem. He called together all the chief priests and the teachers of the law and asked them, where will the Messiah be born? In the town of Bethlehem in Judea, they answered. For this is what the prophet wrote. Bethlehem in the land of Judah, you are by no means the least of the leading cities of Judah, for from you will come a leader who will guide my people Israel. So Herod called the visitors from the <coughs> east to a secret meeting and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem with these instructions. Go and make careful search for the child, and when you find him, let me know, so that I too may go and worship him. And so they left, and on their way they saw the same star they had seen in the east. When they saw it, how happy they were, what joy was theirs. It went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. They went into the house and when they saw the child with his mother Mary, they knelt down and worshipped him. They brought out their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh and presented them to him. Then they returned to their country by another road since God had warned them in a dream not to go back to Herod. <laughs> 